Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the School Days book tag. Oh, hello, I am pinging. So, this was created by What Victoria Read, and I was tagged by Cats and Camera. Bunch of questions here. Stop pinging at me. Bunch of questions here. It says the idea of this tag is that you do the times of day questions and then choose any of the subject questions that seem interesting to you. So, we're going in with the time of day questions. So, first, Bell. Tell us about the book that first got you into reading. For me, that would probably be uh, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. It was the golden compass in the United States. That's actually the reason why I have a Panzer Bjorn on my arm underneath the wolf. So, um, yeah, I, I, all of my tattoos mean something to me. And so that one represents the Northern Lights trilogy, which is the trilogy that really got me into reading. It made me fall in love with it. It made me want to become a writer. Break time. Which book have you most recently had to take a break from or DNF? I honestly can't remember. It's been a little while. I guess the closest answer I have for this is The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCulloch because this is one that I read, I'm reading as my bedtime book. So I'm reading it like 15 to 20 pages at a time. But I am still actively reading it. It's just, it's just slowly. Lunchtime. Tell us about your favourite book that features food. Now Kaz had Chi for this which was a great answer. answer. Um, my favourite book that features food. I mean, nothing particularly springs to mind. Uh, there's lots of stories that do feature food. Like the Harry Potter books are coming to mind because food's in those quite a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, probably The Stand by Stephen King because I'm sure at some point in that somebody eats something. Final bell, which book have you most recently finished reading? That for me would be Isaac Asimov, Pebble in the Sky, which is a sci-fi novel sort of set in the time of the Galactic Empire. Basically this guy's walking along and he's got his left foot and he's in, you know, 1945 and he lifts his right foot up and by the time he puts his right foot down, he's like in you know, 3,000 years into the future or whatever. Homework, what was the last non-fiction book that you read and enjoyed? Okay, ooh, well, I'm currently reading and quite enjoying Where Have All the Bullets Gone by Spike Milligan, which is volume five of his war diaries. So it's set during uh, the Second World War. Well, actually it's towards the end, like I'm halfway through and we've just got to VE Day. Uh, and so in this point, he wasn't really in the front line, he was mostly like entertaining troops playing his trumpet basically. But it's still interesting enough, it's just a shame about the casual racism. Staff room, tell us about a book that you go to when you need to take a breath. I gotta be honest, I don't really understand the question. <laughs> um, but I guess in terms of rereads, if I just want something nice and chill to reread, I'd reread one of the Discworld books. Okay, so here we have the subjects. So I guess I'm gonna do all the subjects I did at GCSE level, so English. Tell us about one book that you studied at school and recommend one book that you would like to add to the curriculum. So one that I studied at school would be Romeo and Juliet. We did it in class and going around the classroom and everyone, you know, was a different character and stuff. Uh, which wasn't actually a particularly enjoyable way to, to read it, but we did watch the Baz Luhrmann movie as well. And um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it then and then since then I've seen it performed at the Globe and, you know, it's probably my favourite Shakespeare play. And one that I, th I think should be added to the curriculum is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I just, you know, I think it's an important book and very reflective of our time. Maths, how do you rate your books? I use a five star rating scale uh, and I can use half stars as well. Uh, and then for Goodreads, I generally upgrade to the like, if it's a 3.5 I normally give it four on Goodreads. Uh, unless it's only just scraped 3.5. Science, which book couple do you think has the best chemistry? Well, I'm not really into shipping or whatever, but uh, Will and Lyra from His Dark Materials, probably my favorite couple. So those are like the core GCSEs, and then for my optional ones, I did business studies and computing, both of which aren't on the list. And then I did French and German, uh, so modern foreign languages. Recommend a translated book that you enjoyed. And I am going to go for, well I guess I'll go for the Asterix books by, I think it's Eudezo and R. Duceni or something. Uh, I've been reading them in the French though, but you can get them in English. And, you know, they're classic children's graphic novels for a reason. So now I'm going to tag a few people, so I'm just going to do this off the top of my noggin. I am going to tag uh, Jason White from Jason's Weird Reads. I am going to tag... Uh, we're going to tag Charlie Heathcote, he'll have some good answers. Todd the Librarian. Uh, I'm sorry, I always tag the same people, I can never think of channels off the top of my head. Uh, we'll go for Richardson Reads if he's watching. Uh, Mark Nash. Brrr, um, time with books. Um, 
Linda Jo Martin, the book lady. I haven't seen her actually even upload for a while, so hopefully this might give her a reason to come back and post them then. Uh, two more. I will also tag, I'm going to tag Steve, Steve Partridge, and I am going to tag Aoife from, uh, what was her channel name? I can only think of her, Words of Clover, that's the one. So there we have it, that's what I made of the school days book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know what you made of this tag in the comments. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.